All right, welcome back. This episode is going to be testing out right here. Just this fun little stuff. All this is is acrylic nail polish, and it goes on really, really smooth, spreads out nicely, and it should create a nice, good seal. Now, I'm not really concerned with this failing because I know it's going to create a seal over everything. My concern is, is soldering you know after it's on there and you need to solder something up so i'm going to take a flight controller seal it and then i'm going to solder into it and see what happens my my thought is is that the soldering iron is hot enough where it's just going to burn right through it it's going to melt it off kind of like slag in a sense now there might be some impurity into the into the solder but i don't think it's going to be that much of a problem so let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna use this. This is, from what I can tell, uh, an acrylic based nail polish. So we're gonna throw it on this guy here. And boy, is it stinky. So I'm just. All right, so I'm going to let this sit and dry, and then we're going to water test it. I need to put on just, you know, uh, here you go, a plug, an XT60 plug, XT30 plug, whichever one you want. Should be able to just pretty much burn through it, clean it up if it even needs it, and then solder right to it. So... Yeah, should be. Oh, let me move a little bit more in the center here. So pretty much, what this is going to do is, is for the most part, it's going to just melt through it, just get rid of it completely, and burn it off. So I'm going to do that on the back side as well. Even though it's probably already burnt off. Just got to melt through it. See, it's taking a little bit longer because it's it's got a coating on it. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you see it's all stuck right on the tip here. Slag is probably a good term for it. There we go. And you can see it, a lot of it's smoking and bubbling. And if you look at the at the tip of this. You can see it's all black. That's from the, the acrylic burning off. All right, so that's soldered up. Double check, make sure I put them in the right spots. Negative and positive. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to give this the old Dunkaroo as well. And see what we can do. See what we find out. All right, blue lights on. 
all these plugs are sealed up as far as I know. Oh, it's having a little bit of an issue there for just a split second. That could be the USB port. Move the water around on the top. There we go. I would say that's actually pretty good. Um, you know, because normally when you're flying, you're not gonna you're not gonna fly in something like that and fully submerge it. Submerge it. You're gonna be, you know, in rain or something. So, I would say that this is successful. And you know, the USB port is completely open. I did put the uh, acrylic inside of the USB port uh, around all the plugs here. As you can see, it's just exposed wires. They're from motors that I, I clipped uh, the plugs off of so I can direct, directly solder it onto, an F, onto a flight controller. Um, and I just sealed the top, the sides, and the bottom with the nail polish. So yes, nail polish will work. Okay, so you saw exactly how this worked and it worked good, it was a su success. I was able to solder this plug onto it. I was able to drop it into the water. It completely worked perfectly. Actually, it was this one that I did. So if you notice in the video, of course, I originally applied the nail polish to this one. But I ended up using this one for the test because it had all the plugs on it and it allowed for me to do this little test here with the soldering of the XT30 plug here. So, yeah, it, it, it works. It, it works well and you could put it on to whatever you want. It's a cheap alternative. And I think this cost me $3.00. This is Sinful Colors, bold color. Really? Bold color? Wow. Uh, doesn't look very sinful either. And this is, I don't know, I bought it at Target. Uh, the, the brand is Sinful Colors. I think it was $2.99 for the bottle. And I hardly even by I hardly even reduced any amount of it by sealing up both of these. And um, I really laid it on thick. You know, I just pretty much just dunked it on there and just let it do its thing. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to use this because you can't get conformal coating, there you go, right here. Works just fine. Now, I don't know how long it'll last. Um, I don't know how it'll withstand, like, a constant heat, like, for instance, on a VTX. I, I don't know if it'll resist that heat for very long. I, I, I haven't been able to test that out yet, and I will. I'm going to test it. Now, I will say I did take some, uh, a little bit of it, and I started hitting it with uh, the, the, the uh, soldering iron, and it resisted better than I thought. It really did. Now, it, it is nail polish, and nail polish is designed to come off, but if you think about it, you know, nail polish on your fingernails lasts quite a long time. And that's with the abuse that you're putting it through with your hands, you know, washing constantly. I mean, throwing on um, uh, nowadays with the pandemic and everything like that, you're constantly hitting your hands with uh, alcohol-based sanitizer. You're washing your hands constantly. You're showering. You're picking at stuff, grabbing stuff, doing everything like that. And the stuff holds on and resists that pretty well. So being on a object on a quad that's pretty much stationary, it's going to last a long time. And if you want to remove it to, for soldering, all you really do is just heat it up. And if you really want to make sure you got a good connection, like on some of the little little pads, heat it up, get it get it good and hot. You'll see it start to like bubble bubble up, and you'll see it actually go on the tip of your as I as you just saw on the tip of your your soldering iron and then just take some alcohol some rubbing alcohol put it on there and just clean it and then go go to solder and then reapply it if you want to so yeah here you go very very inexpensive alternative to conformal coating so again thank you for watching 
And please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell. And have a fantastic day.